Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a video for the sign of Taurus. I hope you're doing well. So the sun's in Pisces, water sign energy that has to do with psychic intuition, dreams, fantasy, escape. And this is connected to uh, the water sign energy of Scorpio, deep emotions, soulmate energy, deep feelings that are looking beneath the surface of things, investigation, um, deep soul searching. So there's a lot of water energy here. There's a lot of deep emotional energy that has to do with going below the surface of, you know, what you can see on the outside. Now for Taurus, Mars is connected directly to Pluto. So there's major transformation and change happening purposeful change. Mars is about action, force, and initiation. And this is connected up to Pluto, which is the planet of major transformation and change, a restructuring. So Uranus is also in Taurus, bringing out the rebel innovator in you. So something rebellious, going against the norm, doing something different from everyone else. This is in opposition to deep emotions, deep feelings of Scorpio. So Uranus and Taurus is restricted. So it's restricted when you want to break free and be liberated. You can't because Taurus energy is about being strategic and stable. Now this is connected up to the moon and Scorpio, very intense emotions. So you could feel um, very overwhelming, intense feelings about something that could override and make you do something outside of your norm. I'll come here. So let's see what is coming in here for Taurus for the next 48 from Wednesday to Friday. Energies for Taurus. Or if you have Taurus in your chart, we have the lovers. We have a union, two people coming together. Could be Gemini energy. So then we have here seven of wands, standing up for what you believe in. Fire energy is around you. Again, I shuffled the deck and we're getting the same energies as Aries, except for the lovers. The moon, things that are hidden beneath the surface, water energy, things that are hidden, things that where you have to do a deep dive and investigate and look into something here. The moon can also be about intuition, rules over the house of cancer, um, or Pisces. Knight of Swords. Fast moving communication. Could be drama going on around you. Oh, okay, so what do we have here for Taurus? Three of Swords. What in the world? Heartbreak, pain, a feeling of sadness. Three of Wands. Okay. There could be somebody that feel you feel like they're avoiding you or not wanting to spend time with you. Yeah. and you, Or you don't want to spend time with them. Four of Cups. There's the death card around you, could be Scorpio. Could be an ending or you feel like something's ending or changing. You're one hangman here. Maybe you don't want to feel stuck, but it's coming up as your hope or fear. Final outcome is justice, fairness, fa fairness, balance, equality. Something here about enforcing justice so justice will come in and serve whatever is 
not going right for you. He, we have Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Death card brings in a major change, a major transformation. Four of Cups is your energy. You're just not very interested in what some, someone is offering you. You're just, it's like a lack of interest. What is the Three of Swords energy here? Seven of Cups. Confusion. Um, feeling like maybe you have more options in love or overwhelming feelings, complex feelings. What is the moon? The chariot. So you're wanting to charge ahead and overcome any fear. Ten of Wands. There's a heavy burden for pentacles, saving money. What is the Three of Wands about right here? Eight of Wands. Thinking about traveling or moving, going to another destination. Page of Pentacles. And the Hermit. I feel like some of you are wanting to expand your horizons right now. You want out of a certain situation. Very spiritual right here. High Priestess and Hermit. What is the Lovers about? <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles. A long-term committed relationship. Looking very closely at a situation, scrutinizing, queen of pentacles, working. This could also be something about work. There's a lot of money. What is the justice involved here? The fool. So you'll be relieved of any burdens with the justice and the fool. Okay. What is the Fool card energy about? This is about freedom. King of Air, cutting someone off. Seven of Wands. Fire sign energy that's defensive. Or you had to stand your ground with someone. Nine of Wands, fire energy that won't give up. Emperor on the bottom. Some of you maybe are dealing with an Aries person. So there's a new beginning. Um, you could be in a situation where it's painful. Yeah, death cards flipping. Something is changing because it's not happy. Or what is the chariot? What's coming in here for Taurus? Fear. But needing to be patient. Wait. Some of you feel left out in the cold. There is good news coming in or happy news or a message of love. What is the justice and the fool about? Okay, there's a victory of some kind. The world. Okay, great success and a victory. Right now, your energy is Four of Cups, though. That's boredom or dismissing Hierophant. You could be in a marriage or a job that is boring, that you don't like. Marriage where there's a lack of interest or love shown. What is the Four of Pentacles here? Okay, what is the Four of Pentacles, Queen of Air, and the King of Air? There's a lack of love here or something where there's something here where two people are like, this could be you're going to court too. 
Okay, Ace of Swords. There, there will be clarity, truth, and a victory in this situation. What is the Page of Cups? Mao, stop. Okay, Six of Cups. Good news. Harmony, balance, friendship comes in. And there's a four point though. There's keep there is this energy of selfishness or holding back or not wanting to give. Five of Wands. There's some kind of conflict. Ultimately, there's an outcome of winning, freedom, victory, liberation, you know, all good things. You could be saving money as well. There's a death in the environment, so there's a major change, transformation, endings and beginnings. Like I said, Scorpio energy, other people's money connected into the sun and Pisces, following your intuition, message in a bottle. Some of you could be getting an unexpected message today that is going to be really helpful. Um, it will give you hope. <clears throat> Treasure Island. This is about money, finance, doing very well. This is the best card regarding money in this deck. It's financial independence in, you know, abundance. Okay, Taurus, I will leave it here for you. Thank you for watching my channel and take care.